Persuasion secret number five, persuasion. Persuasion. So what is persuasion? It is the process of arranging for recipients to be receptive to a message before they encounter it. But this is a whole book by Dr. Robert Cialdini. I heard it's pretty good. Uh, so what does this really mean though? Basically, it's, as Stephen talked about with framing, it's pre-framing. So it's, a, it's creating a perception about a person or a thing before they even get to it. And I'll give you a very simple live example. Let's use a dating example, okay? Oh, so okay. So imagine <laughs> how excited you get. <laughs> Look at the young guys. She was getting old. <laughs> I don't get excited about that anymore. Anyway, so think about, uh, let's say you are, you are a, okay, let's say you are a lady mm -hmm. and you've been single for a while, let's say a couple of years, and you're looking to date again, right? And so someone walks up to you, right? Someone walks up to you and say, would you like to date me? Or would you like to go on a date? You're like, what the hell? Like some, mm. get out here, weirdo. Mm. Right, right? It's like, you don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So that's that's like selling without, that's not persuasion, by the way. That's being being a like, just weird. <laughs> you don't do that. Be direct, don't be direct. Don't yeah, be direct. So on the other hand, let's look at persuasion. How you could do, imagine, you are again, lady. You are you are single. You're looking. You're kind of looking. You're not looking, but you've been single for a couple of years. You're having coffee with a friend, right? Uh, one of your best friends, right? You hang out, talk. How are things? You're like, yeah, it's good. You know, hey, you know what? And your friend's saying, I met this really great guy, right? It's in my um, in my whatever sports club that I'm involved with. Very nice guy. Um, you know, very good looking, exercise all the time, like good body, but just a very good guy. And he's she's talking about how good this person is like raving about this person. You know what, next week we're actually getting, getting together like with a barbecue with a bunch of us. Why don't you come along? You're like, well, okay. And you go there and you see this guy, wow, lo and behold, yeah, he is good looking. And he's kind of handsome and you know, nice body and very nice, like, very charismatic. And your friend introduced you to him. Now, before you guys connect, what's your impression of this person? Put in the chat, what's your impression of this person? Before, even, before you guys speak a single word, Right? Positive, it's nice, right? Mm -hmm. Right, that's, that's what I'm talking about, that's persuasion. How do you know? You don't know yet, but your friend has done all the persuasion, mm -hmm. right? And so done all the heavy lifting. So before you even talk to this person, you have a very good impression of this person. Then in your mind, when you meet with this person, you're kind of like, let's see if this guy lives up to the expectation, right? And if he does, there will be an instant, like, uh, uh, it's easier for you to like this person. Mm -hmm. You will be able to scale, we call it a scale trust. Mm -hmm. Scale the trust a lot faster. You with me? Mm -hmm. Follow what I'm saying, right? To add to this too, like for all you uh, psychology geeks out there just like me, this is called confirmation bias. Confirmation so when bias. someone tells you something, right? Like, oh, that guy is a really nice guy. What happens is that, here's what's interesting. Our brains are full of weird wiring, right? We go in that conversation, everything that they communicate to us, whether that's verbally, through their body, whatever, we are filtering through that. We're, we're confirming, we're looking for things to confirm what that the friend is, is saying. Nice that he is a nice guy. But more important, but it's gotta be like who, now on the other hand, let's do a, a totally different scenario. Okay, same thing, you're single, you know, you want looking for someone, your friend talks to you about this guy. Mm. But your friend, this friend is a different friend. This is a friend that you've known for a while, but she's got a bad track record. Okay, she's recommended a few guys here in the past, they're all damn jerks, mm. right? Just a bad recommendations. And she's always like introducing all these guys, they're all bad. And she's telling you about this amazing guy. You're like, oh, here we go again, right? And before I meet the guy, what is going on, right? He's gonna be another loser. So that's the wrong, still persuasion, right? She's still trying to persuade you, but it's a wrong persuasion, you with me? I believe as an entrepreneur, as a copywriter, as a marketer, as a closer, we don't spend enough time setting the tone, setting the stage, right? We don't do enough persuasion, right? When I'm actually very big on persuasion. When you are good and at persuasion, when you're good at persuasion, persuasion is much, much easier. 100%. It's much, much easier easier in some cases the persuasion is so powerful it makes 
persuasion not necessary.、Mm. Okay, think. Give me a scenario in your life where the persuasion is still so powerful. Persuasion is not necessary. Maybe your friend telling you about a certain movie that you got you should watch. You know, like I, I don't know anything about the movie, but but persuasion is so powerful. You're like, okay, I'm gonna go watch that. Or a restaurant, or an incident, right? Or dating, right? Yeah, John Wick Chapter Three, same thing. How about how about Game of Thrones? Oh God, yeah. How about Game of Thrones? Well, how many of you are anticipating to watch Game of Thrones, the new season? Is it good? Yeah, final season. That's it, right? So it's a lot of pre-screen. Like before you watch it, oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Yeah.、Right? So much hype building around it, right? Apple, very good at it. The launch, the product, hyping up presentation, like all of that. Apple, wow, they were very good at it. They're not as good today, but when the time, especially Steve Jobs,、mm-hmm. right when he was around, that's they're very very good. Not selling it, but persuasion,、yeah. right? Presetting the frame, pres persuading people why they need their product. So before they when they launch, people just go buy.、Right? Yeah, how much selling did their staff really need to do? Come you, on, like, you line up people line up overnight. Sometimes days ahead to buy. You don't even know. You, you, you're not using the product. Think about. You're not using the product yet. It's、yeah. not like using it. This is great. No, you don't. You don't know what it. You don't know everything about the product.、Mm-hmm. You just think it's going to be awesome. Or I need to have one. I must have one. Right. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So here's our some more of the tactical stuff.、Mm-hmm. You're thinking about. Okay. You're not going to produce a Marvel movie, right? You're not going to produce a Marvel. Universe for whatever you're selling or you're trying to persuade your clients or customers to produce. These are some very simple stuff. Scientists were asking, okay, very simple, right? At the mall, say you own a little stand at the mall, right? Here's a perfect example of persuasion. Instead of asking people to directly fill out the survey, these guys all they did was ask one more sentence. You can ask one, one more question, one, right? Like one sentence to persuade. One sentence to freaking persuade. Are you a helpful person?、And、as soon as they fill that out. Seventy. The results pretty much two and a half, two point six six x. You see that right there. People were asked to buy like a new flavor of pop or something like that, and they found like similar results, like twenty percent, whatever it is. And then all they did was ask one more question. Oh, it's right there, actually. Yeah, at the top. Oh yourself- shit. Do you consider yourself adventurous, right? Adventure. For all you single people out there, you can use this at the club, whatever, right? Do you consider you adventurous? You can instantly persuade. Uh, you know, whoever you're talking to, to more likely say yes to you. That's、yes. the whole point of this, right? Yes. Boom. There you go. So pretend you're hiring somebody. You know, maybe you got like a little coffee shop going on, and you want some new employees. So you get their resume, and their resume's got the, their full name on it. You look at the credentials. What's the first thing you do? Put in the comments. What's the first thing that you do after you get somebody's resume if you're pretending to hire them? If you're considering them.、Mm. Check their social media. That's exactly right. <laughs> exactly Ask right. Ask questions, referrals. Look at their skills. Throw it out. <laughs> throw it out. Check spell check. Okay. Look them online. Check the social media. Exactly.、Right? Social yeah, media. Definitely social media is the ultimate persuasion. That's either gonna kill you、That's、or、huge. help you. So how do you use persuasion? You fill out the important social media profiles to persuade others to like you and trust you before they've even met you. So. Imagine somebody. We've seen so many people who come through our program who start off this way. You know, your your photo, like your profile photo, is like if you're okay. There's this one guy. He had like a, a really really creepy room. It was like dark. He was shirtless and he was doing like a creepy smile. It was like a selfie, and then like his entire feed was like weird links to YouTube like videos that are really like morally ambiguous and like <laughs> and it's all like. Photos of him like drinking and partying and like being really creepy, and it's like, so if someone wants to hire you or someone wants to do business with you or whatever your purpose is for trying to persuade somebody, that is the wrong way to do it. And then you have the other way to persuade somebody, which is the positive way, which is well, like I said, depends on what your goal is. Like the whole partying and drinking. If you're an influencer and you know you 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 sell the lifestyle, okay,、mm, sure. If, if that like. Some of our students, like, they're like, oh, you know, should I have like, you know, party photos or not? I'm like, well, it depends. What are you trying to convey through your photos? If you're trying to convey that you are、um, 
you are a fun person and you are really selling. If they're trying to sell the 10, the 1,000, the 10, 12,000 tickets to this amazing event on a private island, that might be a good idea. Exactly. <laughs> right. Other than that, it's a, big, it's a bad fucking idea. Yeah. So have a, have a, we'll have homework later on, but have a professional photo or at least a, a decent, like a good photo for the love of God. No weird shirtless selfies, please. Thank you. <laughs> it's not that hard. Thank you and thank God, please. Don't. Oh, right. yes. man. Like, I think we are doing God's work over here. We're, we're reducing the amount <laughs> of shirtless selfies on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, man. So the really, really important social media platforms are LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. So if you're trying to go for a job, uh, for example, you're pro so if the person you're hiring, going back to our previous example, you're trying to hire them, odds are you're going to like, if you search in their name, what are you going to find? their social media profiles and it'll be LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram. Mm. And then probably Twitter as well, but not Twitter is kind of going down now yes. um, in terms of what people check. Make sure your LinkedIn is professional. It's clear cut. It's not like about me, 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 me. Talk about, uh, you know, what kind of services you offer, what you're into, uh, that not just what you're into, but what you're into that applies or relates to what you're trying to convey. Mm. Like, let's say you're an engineer, mm. Uh, and you want to, you know, get hired for an engineering job, but you're like, oh, interest laying on the hammock. Like, uh, who gives a shit? Right. But if your interest is, you know, uh, taking things apart and figuring out how they work, and you know, when you were 12 years old, you completely disassembled an entire Toyota Corolla, and then you know, you put that thing all, all back together with different parts, you know, that's a bit more interesting than some dude who lays on his hammock. So use social media to your advantage, not your disadvantage.